If you've been practicing or studying the quantum mechanics of how law of attraction works, you will have undoubtedly come across someone expressing how important it is to feel the reality of your manifestation having already occurred. The feeling place of having already achieved your manifestation, of course, is easier said than done. And for some people, it's one of the biggest struggles in leveraging the power of your inner world that creates your outer reality. In this video, I'll share some secrets that will help you master the feeling of already having what you desire. Welcome back to my channel and a new video. My name's Jason and I make videos to help you discover the infinite potential within to create the life that you absolutely truly deserve. If you like content like that, I encourage you to hit the subscribe button down below and tap on the notification bell so that you can be notified of upcoming videos when they're released. If you've just started your journey of conscious creation, turning your thoughts into things intentionally instead of just allowing your random thoughts to create random experiences, or if you've been on this path for a while, achieving the feeling place of already having what you desire is a considerable challenge to say the least. And since this is something that you must do in order to manifest your desired reality, it's obviously crucial for you to learn how to achieve this feeling. You've heard all the talk about visualizing what you want, but what most people leave out is how absolutely vital it is to feel the emotions of having it. The visualization without the feeling will pretty much do nothing. Imagine you're shooting a bow and arrow. Your visualization can be compared to where you aim your arrow, but without the electromagnetically charged emotional carrier, it would be much like you pointing your arrow without pulling the bow back. Of course, in that scenario, the arrow won't go anywhere and will just fall flat on the floor in front of you. So now you can understand how important the feeling part is to the equation. And it wasn't until about two years into my own journey that I actually realized that when people say to feel it, they literally meant it because the emotion of love and gratitude and fulfillment and fear and worry and anxiety, they're all literally physical sensations in the body. And the feeling of gratitude, love and fulfillment is usually felt in your heart center and your solar plexus or belly area as an open and full feeling and a warm feeling in those areas. And it wasn't until I actually started feeling that feeling regularly that I fully understood what it meant to feel it. The feeling is much more important than the visualization in many ways because the universe will always deliver to you more and more experiences and situations that match the way you feel regularly. So basically, if you're used to feeling happy, then the universe will bring you more experiences to make you feel happy. Those experiences will just be more random than if you were to point your arrow directly at what you wanted to experience. The opposite is true as well. So if you're usually an unhappy person or someone who believes in bad luck, then those feelings of worry and expectation of something unwanted will continue to attract unwanted situations and experiences into your life. So how do we actually practice the feeling place of having already achieved what we desire? The quickest and most effective and efficient way is to use something in your past experience. The reason why it's the easiest to do this is because you're using actual experiences which will allow you to get into that feeling much easier because you're not pretending to have or be what you don't have or are not. It's the imagining of having what you don't already have that always throws people off more often than not. But if you can remember the last time you finished something that you never thought you could accomplish, whether it's graduating from school, landing the job that you really wanted, buying your first car or house, or getting a big chunk of money, or having the relationship that you always wanted, or having a healing that you didn't think you could have, those memories can be easily activated when you start thinking about them. Take my dad, for example. He used to dread doing taxes and it literally gave him so much anxiety that on at least two occasions, he literally got physically ill right before tax season. And every time he finished his taxes, he felt such big relief. So I asked him to start vividly remembering those moments when he was finished with his taxes during his meditations. That is the feeling of having completed something, the feeling of 
being done. The feeling of fulfillment, which is exactly the feeling place we want to practice. So find a few moments in your past experience where you've felt this feeling of achievement and fulfillment and turn it into a meditation. 30 minutes will do. Take the first 10 minutes or so of your meditation to get into the present moment by easing and slowing your thoughts. You can do this by noticing your breath and breathing in a slow, controlled manner so that you need to focus your attention on the feeling of your breath. You can also listen to music while you meditate and immerse yourself in the sound of the music, or if you prefer silence, you can immerse yourself in the sound of silence, which will take you out of the mental chatter and noise we all have. And also close your eyes and stare into the blankness of your eyelids so that you're blocking out any visuals that you may be imagining that don't serve you. The point of this is to clear out your mental palette. Once you start feeling clear or peaceful, you can then start thinking about those times that you felt accomplished, healthy, abundant, fulfilled, grateful, etc. And you can find different memories and experiences in your past that match the things you want to manifest. For example, if you want to manifest more money, find a past experience when you received a big chunk of money or when you got a paycheck or a gift from someone, etc. If you want to manifest better health, think back to a time when you felt really healthy or maybe when you had just recovered from being ill. And you can practice this every day for 30 minutes for a week or two so that you really familiarize yourself with what it feels to be in that feeling place of having it already. Don't worry about visualizing what you want just yet. You'll find that once you've mastered or gotten good at feeling the feeling, the visualization of having what you desire already will come very naturally and easily because you're already in the flow of feeling good. And in that space, you feel so good that you really don't care if you have your manifestation because you already feel the way you would if you did have that manifestation. And so it becomes more of a game rather than something that's life or death and serious. And also when you're in that high vibratory state, you're also much, much more receptive to insights from the universe, your guides, the positive energies around you that are guiding you. So get into that feeling, feel that feeling all over your body and feel your heart expand and just become that feeling once you feel it and practice holding it as long as you can. You may only be able to hold it for 10 seconds at first, but the more you practice, the longer you'll be able to hold that feeling and the better you will become at mastering your emotions. So I hope this video helps you understand the critical aspect of the power of your emotions and helps you open the floodgates of being able to feel the feeling of having your manifestation already. If you found value in this video and you liked it, please don't be shy and hit that thumbs up button. It really helps out the channel and motivates me to make more videos. Please feel free to share this video with your friends and family who you think may benefit from this as well. That also does volumes in motivating me to make more videos. And of course, if you're not subscribed and want to see more videos like this in the future, please do hit that subscribe button down below and also tap on the notification bell so that you can be notified of upcoming videos when they drop. Again, my name is Jason. As always, I thank you for watching and remember that you are the change. I'll see you all soon.